Okay, so uh, there it is, this Ford Peasant Mini in blaze orange. As I say, I managed to um, pick one of these up fairly quickly after release, which I'm uh, exceptionally happy about, because I know how quickly they'll get snapped up. Um, plastic moulded handle, tang sticks out the back there, and uh, at the moment it's fairly stiff, but you've got these little brass screws in there to uh, this one here being able to loosen or tighten the construction to enable the, the blade to swing out freely or keep a little more tension on it. Um, the length as it is, let's just zoom out a little bit, I've got it um, just on a black background so that you can see that blaze orange a little bit more clearly. From the top of the tang to the bottom of the handle there we're looking at around about 14 centimeters or five and a half inches if anybody's ever wondered how far the tang sticks out of the the top of the knife it's about an inch and a half as you can uh, as you can see there so the handle being four inches long there isn't as far as i know a wooden handle version available just yet um, apart from in the country of origin and there uh, there's the knife unfolded so the dimensions on on that one we're looking at yeah pretty much dead on six and three quarter inches in length or about 17 and a half centimeters just under 17 and a half centimeters long now that cutting edge measures around about two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters so it's well within the legal limit for the United Kingdom let's have a look at the blade up close I like the rustic nature of the uh, the finish on these things and I guess you know they probably be a good project knife for anybody that is able to to work on these things the blade thickness there being around about 1.2 millimeters apparently now if I come up close to the finish on the on the uh, on the tip of the knife it doesn't look perfect by any stretch in fact it looks a bit off and as you can see it's probably not going to be the sharpest thing in the world I mean they come from what I can feel relatively sharp well just test that in a minute but like with most of these Ford peasant knives uh, I understand they can all do with a bit of a touch-up so as I say I quite like the uh, the rustic nature of it there you can see the uh, secondary bevel on the edge I don't know the weight of these things but to be honest they're so small you're hardly going to worry about that at all in the hand it feels feels very comfortable indeed and this is not going to be you know a heavy a heavy use knife it's going to be really something that I can use for utility purposes um, while I do like the uh, the Victorinox and the multi-bladed options sometimes I, I just like to favor my old Opinel and I'm a bit of fan of these peasant style knives as well when all you really want is a blade to use rather than a USB stick out in the woods kind of thing. Um, let's just have a look at some similar kind of models. Now the only thing I could think of really is everybody's gonna pretty much everybody's gonna have a Victorinox of some description. So that's a kind of comparison if you like. The uh, the blade on this Ford is a little bit more robust, certainly thicker in terms of its depth than the uh, than the Victorinox there. That's obviously the farmer model, but a fairly comparable size. And then just in case anybody's got one of the larger 111 millimeter locking models, I'll just put that in the, uh, in the equation as well. If I put that at the top and then this Ford in between, that gives you a relatively good idea of the scale of the uh, the knife we're talking about. So it looks like it's just kind of a bit shorter than the uh, the blade 
or a fair amount shorter of the, than the blade on the 111 millimeter Victorinox soldier but um, you know fairly fairly comparable in terms of size so all in all I'm quite pleased with it I've got to say for the uh, for the 12 pounds that I paid for it uh, I know it's slightly more expensive than something like the uh, the Opinel even sort of a number nine or a number eight or even a number seven um, which you can pick up fairly cheaply um, I think that's going to be a fairly good little utility blade we'll just try a quick cut test on it on a bit of paper in fact the paper that came through yeah so it's going to need it's going to need some work it's pretty rough not doing there. It's going to need it's going to need some touching up there's no doubt about it. In fact it's probably more tearing than, uh, than anything which um, you know doesn't uh, bode well for this video review really or it's not even a review it's just a first initial first impressions kind of look at this um, but I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with you know what they're doing with uh, sharpening these things um, you know for the money I think that's uh, it's a fairly good buy I think they're uh, from what I've been told they're a good steal holds its edge well once it's sharpened and can sharpen up quite uh, quite nicely as well so there you go Sword Peasant Mini 12 pounds in the UK I'm looking forward to trying it out and just seeing how uh, seeing how we get on once I've done a bit of work on it, sharpened it up a bit. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.